Hey guys, welcome back. Today's a quick one. Today we're just going to be changing the bulbs in the Tormach mill. Right now I'm running a bright light, which is great for me, but for filming purposes, it's a little yellow for my taste. So it's just a comparison between the bulbs. So let's get these changed out. Right back. Okay, here's a quick comparison between daylight bulbs. And the bright light bulbs. So there's your comparison. Let's get the other two changed. We'll be right back. Well, there you go, guys. 100 watt fluorescent daylight bulbs. Big difference from the bright light bulbs. The bulbs I'm using are 100 watt fluorescent bulbs from Home Depot. The bright light bulbs I had were also 100 watt. And what I had noticed was when I put them in after half an hour, 20 minutes or so, they would shut off. They were overheating because the holes in the housings were too small. I just took a pair of tin snips and made the holes a little larger. And I haven't had any problems since then. This looks great on camera. While we're in here, I'll show you a few upgrades I've done. It's just a filter, Watts filter, two gauges. Got this idea from John from Grimzo Knives. Great guy. Learned a lot. Got the hose. Runs to the back. Keeps everything nice and clean, as you can see. Just washes everything down at the end of my project. There's some 3 8 fittings. And a few more cool lines. There's the old tool holder that was on my arm. Just disassembled and mounted to the front. Great little spot for tools that I'm using for that particular project. I also moved USB port to the front. It was such a hassle to swing around the side and keep putting it in. Just a one inch hole transferred to the front. Made life a lot easier. But I hope this was helpful. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you next week. Hey, guys, almost forgot. Here's a mod that you guys might like. Depending on the project, I'll either run flood coolant or mist coolant. In the beginning, I was climbing behind the machine and unplugging the mist, plugging in the pump. And vice versa. It became a hassle, especially when I was flipping through different projects throughout the day. So I came up with this. Just brought a dual switch. What I did was I took a plug, plugged it into the coolant plug, and brought that and wired into both these switches. Now from each individual switch I ran a wire to the back of the machine and put a plug on them. Then plugged the coolant into one and the pump into the other. So depending on the project it's as simple as flipping a switch this
and cool it. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week.